going to be picking all these cherry tomatoes. Now we gotta pick out strawberries. Oh yeah! Oh, Look at this one. It's a Look at my strawberry. So be the little boy is the strawberry. I the strawberry. Yummy. So, Mum is picking all of the beans for us, as you can see, green, purple, yellow, so we don't have to pick any beans, we just have to pick the big, juicy, delicious tomatoes. Okay, come on, let's get our tomato one. Got to spin it and pull it up. Okay, so the tip for the day is that with your tomatoes, you gotta spin them and then pull them. This is how you do it. So you spin it. Big plum. Oh. Oopsie. <laughs> we do. <laughs> okay, maybe just not quite like that. Okay, so another tip to see if your tomatoes are ready is to tell us they're really squishy. This one, squishy down here. Not so squishy up the top, but I think it's ready. Okay, I'll give up. My arms are getting tired, so Dad's gonna take over. Okay, so what Adina was trying to say before is they get uh, they get squishy when they're ready for a tip. So this is a perfect example of why you'll do that. We have uh, green tomatoes and pretty much, you know, they're squishy, they're ready. How dare yeah. Dad eat one? It's ready. Definitely ready. So this one I'm not going to weigh in because I've got a lot down here and I'm still picking. This is all the tomatoes what we got today, guys. Ok, 
Okay, so in our greenhouse, technically our cucumbers here are dying. Oh, maybe not. Look how much of there. Okay, so what's happening is the cucumbers are starting to grow outside the greenhouse. This one ready? No. Yep. It's got ants on it. Cucumber. Okay. I found an okra here, but daddy has to pick it. I don't know how. Wow. Okay, so normally I'd use scissors, but I don't have any. So I'm going to have to damage the plant a little bit. Well, okra anyway. <laughs> got it. Come here, walk. So we've got a few okra. They're pretty hard to find here with all this uh, bit of gold and watermelon. Okay, guys, almost done with the harvest. The kids have ditched me and um, just thought I'd show you my uh, bit of gold plant. So these, these, these puppies over here called uh, bitter gourds and um, apparently they've got like a real uh, real bitter texture and they're real healthy for you I've never tried them before but um, I have some guys at work that uh, if I'm successful with growing it I can I can sell it to if I decide they're no good for my dish but um, yeah the plant's sort of yellowing a little bit there um, I think uh, they need a good feed what do you reckon? I think so, but um, there's plenty, plenty of uh, bit of gourds around. Bit of gourd, bit of gourd, one of those. Um, but yeah, I don't actually know how big they get or um, when they're ready. So I'm going to call on some uh, of my mates' advice there and uh, maybe get them over to have a look. But yeah, I'm. Uh, we just finished picking the, the last of the beans. Just down there, so I'm gonna put these back in the, in the trailer. And then uh, and then we're gonna go back up. Okay, so this is all the harvest so far, and I have just found some more stuff to harvest so I'm just going to do that and then we'll go weigh all this in okay so this is the last uh, thing to harvest some, uh, some more cucumbers here these Lombardi whites so, good one okay so the way you can find out if these uh, Lombardi white cucumbers are ready is um, pretty much the little spikes if you rub your thumb over it their spikes should be gone and they should be, uh, normally they change to a, a white colour. But if they're overripe, normally they're bitter. So it's better to pick them just before they're ripe, I say. Okay, so these are all the cucumbers I've got here. We'll chuck them in the trailer and let's go for a weigh in, eh? Okay guys, now we've finally finished the harvest and we're ready to go and for the weigh in. So take her away, Adina.
Look out.